people, Teacher Monica here, and yes, we could talk. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite traits, resilience. Resilience is a multifaceted concept that refers to an individual's ability to bounce back or adapt in the face of adversity, challenges or significant stressors. It is a valuable trait that can be cultivated and developed over time. Resilience involves several key point components. The first one, adaptability. Resilient individuals are flexible and can adjust their approach or mindset when confronted with difficult situations. They are open to change and can find new ways to cope. Emotional regulation. Resilience includes the ability to manage and control one's emotions effectively. It doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but rather understanding and expressing them in a healthy manner. Positive thinking. Resilient people tend to have a positive outlook on life. They focus on strengths and opportunities rather than dwelling on weaknesses or problems and feeling sorry for themselves. Problem-solving skills. Being able to analyze problems, set achievable goals, and take steps to overcome challenges is a vital aspect of resilience. Social support. Having a network of supporting friends, family, or colleagues is crucial for resilience. These relationships can provide emotional support and practical assistance during tough and difficult times. Self-care. Resilient individuals prioritize self-care, which includes taking care of their physical and mental health. This might involve exercise, healthy eating, adequate sleep, and mindfulness practices. Let me ask you a question. If you're a coach or a therapist, would you be able to ask the right questions to find out how to help your client better, whether it is resilience or any other issue you're working on? In my English for Coaches and Therapies course, you have all the tools you need. You can get a lot for close to nothing. Give it a check in the description. Coping strategies. Resilience encompasses the use of healthy coping mechanisms like seeking professional help, talking to friends, or engaging in relaxation techniques to manage stress. Learning from adversity. Aha. Resilience isn't just about surviving difficulties. It also involves learning and growing from them. Resilient people often emerge from challenges with increased wisdom and personal development. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Amazing skill resilience is indeed. In our professional roles, we might encounter individuals looking to develop their resilience as it can be a valuable skill in both personal and professional contexts. That's all for today, guys. Remember, you can learn how to make the perfect questions in your coaching or therapy sessions by following the English for Coaches and Therapy scores a lot for close to nothing. Please leave me your comments. I'm reading you. And tell me what you want me to talk about the next day. Teacher Monica from On English Streaming. Happy to help. And remember, we gotta talk.